We're making some awesome power lined up against an Evo, and we found the next weakest point. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Matt. I've been doing some street tuning on the cruise and things have been going awesome. I've got the idle just about dialed in, drivability almost spot on, and I was able to go out and have a little fun. Actually came across an Evo and kind of wanted to see what it would do. Lately I would do some second gear pulls, record it, and we've been able to make the tires spin as soon as boost kicks in and it's been pretty exciting. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to record a whole lot of it because the car is a manual and I'm trying to work computer at the same time, so I'm trying to keep things safe. But this Evo thought he was gonna get away from me and I stayed right there at his door the whole time. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what the Evo was making, but <laughs> we, we were going uphill and we're hanging in there with 13 PSI of boost. I don't think he wanted to run me because after that little pull, he wouldn't even look at me <laughs> for one. And his stuff was clapped out. You could hear the turbo through the exhaust. This was decatted and had a huge intercooler blow off valve, all that stuff. So <laughs> I might have embarrassed him a little bit. Also managed to run into an SS Camaro. I I've just tried to line up with some people, but never really happened. Just I imagine people are going back and forth to work, whatever the case may be but she's been making some awesome power. And the other day I lined up R3 Auto Detailing to come out and detail the car. So I'm getting some detailing done to the car. You'll have to excuse the generator, but I'm gonna do a little before and after video. The car's filthy. Uh, it is broke down at the moment. Whatever the hell's going on with the flywheel, whatever the case may be. But let's do before and after and see how it comes out. help if I wasn't in the shot. Ow, shit. She's definitely been neglected. Seeds are filthy. Kids, dog, all that stuff. And uh, sun's really bright right now, but I mean, she's nasty. So I'm going to let him get to work. It's going to take about five hours and then we'll check back. All right, the boys are all finished detailing the car. I'm going to have them help me push it in the shop. <laughs> and they did an excellent job on the car. Got some of my plastics looking fresh again. She's looking pretty clean. They got as much of the stains out as they could, um, but she's looking a lot better headliner came out great i ended up replacing my headrest because my dog chewed up just about all of them she smells clean doesn't smell stale anymore and they did an excellent job so if you're in the houston area be sure to give them a holler r3 auto detailing this is not a sponsorship or anything like that just good guys and they do great work and they are on time mobile detailing or you can bring it to their shop uh, they even fixed got rid of all the rust there was some rust embedded onto the top of the trunk just from doing just grinding metal near it my brother was out here grinding away he wasn't paying attention shooting sparks all over my car there's some other things I need to do just to detail the car I'm gonna redo the the back bumper and all that stuff but it's just cosmetic stuff and we're just gonna keep her sleeper looking. And that morning I decided to go out and do some more tuning, just kind of dialing things in, getting things up to boost and just really dialing in those areas. And unfortunately, something is up. I think we might have sheared the bolts off of the flywheel 
because when I try to start the car, the starter isn't engaging anything. It let loose at about 8,000 RPMs, and I did hear a little bit of a grind that sounded weird. I was like, oh crap, hopefully it's not the transmission, but I think we may have sheared the flywheel bolts off. Not absolutely sure just yet. So she is up on jack stands at the moment and we're gonna drop the transmission out of there and we are gonna fix this issue, find out what the next weakest link is, which obviously this is the next weakest link and we're going to fix it. And I've been pretty excited to actually, hopefully this weekend, it is now Saturday, hopefully this weekend, or at least my plan was to get out, have a buddy come and film and we could try and line up with some people or just at least have them record what or how the car is acting because it, it is pulling pretty hard. I even got some R888Rs for the front so it wouldn't break the tires loose. It's really looking forward to it. However, it's just all part of the process. When you're doing something new, like working with the 1.8 Chevy Cruze and throwing a bunch of boost at it. I'm about a quarter of the way of getting this transmission out. I've got the tires off. Let's get after it and see what the damage is. And I'm sure we can fix it right away, toss it back together and get back to having some fun. So let's go. I finally have the transmission out of the car and it's just as I expected. Check this out. <laughs> uh, Ed Sheardon called. He wants his flywheel bolts back. These are the same exact bolts that I don't know what the guys over at ZZP are using on their Sonic, but we completely sheared these things off. It was making some really good power. There's one of them there. I'm sure the clutch is just fine. However, I mean, this is a little chewed up. I quite possibly just might have my dude that helped out with the, the manifold a little bit. See if he can't weld that up and then just kind of turn this on a lathe to clean it up. So either that or I have to completely replace the flywheel. The transmission is just fine. Just a, a little bit of a scuff right there. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> but we found the next weakest link. Need to extract those bolts. I did initially look for some ARP bolts to go in there. However, couldn't find anything that would work. Potentially, while I'm having him machine that flywheel over there, I could have him enlarge in the seat and I can enlarge in the thread holes for whatever size flywheel bolts ARP has. So that way we make sure that this doesn't happen again. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. While we have the car down for a moment, it will also be a great opportunity to take care of a few small issues. And I am blue in the face as far as getting this belt to line up properly. I may have to shim this water pump pulley. I've replaced the pulley, the water pump, the idler tensioner down there, and I've even replaced the harmonic balancer and just, I don't know, it, it could be the compressor. Maybe we need to play with that, but this is about belt number, number three that I've gone through and it is driving me nuts. Here are the other water pumps. This is the Gates water pump here. I still have my original water pump here. I guess it's still fine. We might try throwing that back on with the original pulley. Here is the other pulley I had installed and this thing was just rubbing against the idler. So there's definitely not very tight tolerances on how a lot of these aftermarket parts are made. This is a, a genuine OEM pulley and I was kind of hoping to run this one because it doesn't have the, the air pump drive on it. And you can see how it was just wearing into the AutoZone pulley. I'm gonna take this back along with the water pump because this is just ridiculous. I paid $115 for this thing and this is what we're getting. Then I do have just a little bit of a coolant link coming from here. I'll see if I can't just tighten that up where we spliced into the heater to feed the water lines to the turbo. So we'll get that all sorted out. And last but not least, I still haven't been able to put the car in reverse. I'm not sure if it's the shifter. I think it could still possibly be the boost pipe. I even dinged it to see if I could get a little more clearance. So I think we may have to end up rerouting this thing because it's a really tight fit going over the shifting fork. I think it's just hitting it, not allowing it to get into reverse. So I think we'll have to make it kind of come up and down 
and shoot down to the throttle body over there. And hopefully that should sort it out. So we're there, we're making some awesome power, just a handful of things to sort out. After this, hopefully that will be it and we can just continue to have some fun with this thing. And next time around, it better be the engine that we're blowing up. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'm just kidding. Because we still are rebuilding the fully built engine. And she's sitting over here waiting for pistons while I'm waiting on parts for the car. And I'm sorting that out. I'll tinker with this some too. Make sure the rings are okay. See if I bent the rod that is connected to this piston here because it does look like there's the gaps kind of close up on this side hopefully not but we shall see it's definitely a learning experience it is a lot of hard work so if you want to support the channel be sure to go over and grab a t-shirt or let me know what kind of t-shirt designs you guys would like to see down in the comments maybe i'll come up with something else because i know this is very particular to my channel but i'd appreciate it if you support the channel every little bit helps because a lot of this stuff is coming out of my my pocket and I do print the t-shirts myself that is what I do for a living and I would love to put this press to work doing some of my own stuff instead of doing customer stuff which keeps me busy however it would be nice to crank out some of my own designs and we even do our own caps in-house so be sure to check out our cap designs as well I really appreciate the support guys until next time peace out with your peace out